Bet you guys never seen anyone do this in their garage. Maybe you have, I don't know, but this is awesome. Growing strawberries with no soil. How awesome is that? Can't wait to see the results. going on Abe? Everybody's asking how y'all are doing. We got some rain today. You can see the clouds. Looking good. Oh you found your feeder. Good I'm gonna to get in there and see how much feeds in there. I was wondering if they found that yet. Abe's strutting around. Let's throw him some scratch. All right, Abe, see you later. Chickens are doing good, getting plenty of eggs. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank, thanks for taking the time to click on the video. Um, Abe and the chickens are doing great. I'm gonna go in there and feed the quail. We're gonna walk over there and uh, check on the goats and all that. And But then I got a project I'm gonna show you guys putting together. Um, it's a little bit of something I've never dabbled in before. And I got a, I ordered a, a pretty cool little system. I wanna grow strawberries and lettuce and other things in there. But after we take care of the animals, we'll walk in there, I'll show you in the garage. Um, I'm gonna try to grow some stuff inside the garage um, if you're not familiar with my channel um, last year I started raising quail inside the garage I was wanting to show people who live um, in the city or who don't have a lot of land or don't have any land um, but they have a garage that they can grow animals inside the garage that's quail so we raised quail in the garage for quite a while now now I'm going to try to show you you can raise your own vegetables inside the uh, inside the garage um, so I'll show you the system we're we'll set it up and then we'll talk a little bit here a little bit about what we got going on so if you like today's video if you do smash that like button for me if you're not subscribed please subscribe we'll see you here in just a second okay you can see they're all doing good they're all ganging up on one side over here they're all doing good so far right on yeah, they're doing a number on that bell. That's okay, though. You see it. <laughs> so there's Gracie. Everyone was asking where Gracie was yesterday. She was in the house taking a little nap. Um, but no, she's not mad at me anymore. You can't come here, Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Come here, Gracie. You're not mad at me. You done forgot. What are you doing, Gabby? Oh. What are you doing, Grace? What are you doing? Say, tell her behind. Tell her behind. So Gracie is not mad at me anymore. If you guys watched a few videos back, she got shocked by the chicken, by the uh, Premier One chicken wire, and she would not even come around me for like an hour or two. It was it was pretty crazy. Um, but she thought I did it. I didn't do it. Um, but she's doing good. You can see see her right there in the background. And Lily's running around here somewhere. Lily, there's Lily. So all the dogs are doing great, just out here having a good time. I want to give you guys a little update on Gracie because you, a lot of y'all are asking how Gracie was doing. She's doing just fine. Um, so let's go in the garage. Uh, I'll show you what I got going on in one packet. So we'll see if we can't get this thing uh, hooked up and ready to go um, today. Okay, I just got back from dinner with the girls and Brandy, and um, I'm in the garage, obviously. It's dark out, but I, need, I want to get this done. So there might be a little bit of an echo in here because I got the doors closed because it got kind of cold. Um, so I'm going to unbox this, show you what I got. And it's like a three, uh, like a three-tier tower um, of a hydroponic system. And I think it's supposed to have four individual ones on each one. Um, I'll just open it up and show you. I only have three, but we'll open it up and I'll show you what I got. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I've been wanting to get into the hydroponics for a long time now. Um, Daniel uh, raised some cucumbers in big barrels last year, and that made me like want to do it even more because he was pretty successful with it inside his greenhouse. So I'm thinking I could do this right. I want to set it up right here um, in the garage to show people that you could do it in the garage. So we'll go from here. This will be the first video of, of, of several of me growing this stuff. I got some strawberries to put in there too. Um, so let's unbox it, put it together, and see what we got. Uh, there's a lot of pieces in here. This may take a little bit longer than I was expecting. 
<coughs> hopefully I can get it done before it's bedtime. Oh, I think these are for to put your seeds in. Seedling instructions, so we'll need that with those, I'm pretty sure. And here's some tubing. So this is a complete kit. You buy this, it's ready to go. I think the only thing you have to buy is a tub um, for a water reservoir, because um, they're not gonna ship that, but everything else is already pre-cut. This is something that you can obviously do yourself. It even comes with the little um, cups. You could do this yourself, um, but it was a lot easier for me just for my first time. Go ahead and just purchase this and see how, how it works. I'm wanting to get my father-in-law, if this works, to get him to do this too. I think he'd really enjoy it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out and I'll show you guys. So lighting might be a little off in here, just bear with me on that. Let's see here. It tells you, oh, okay. It tells you how many parts to make of each, and then it shows you the diagram, how to put it up. So I'll start doing that. Um, I'll probably, I'll record what I can. I'll probably just do like a time lapse on it for you guys, and uh, we'll see you here in a minute. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so phase one sheet, the first sheet is complete. I got all the pieces put together, I'm ready to assemble now. So I'm gonna flip over to the next side and uh, see if I can start putting this together.
Okay, so what that was, that's just the stand that this sits on. So I'll talk about all this at the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting it all together. Um, but I wanted to point that out, that's just the stand. I was thinking water was gonna go through there for some reason, but it's not. This is the inlet valve. All right. I'm hoping I got this uh, cut out good enough. I might have to. Well, I'm gonna put the pump in right now. I'm gonna have to make this hole a little bit bigger to fit the wire. And uh, I think this can work just fine. So this pump is little, little, little. I mean, I'm, I assume it's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna find out. I don't know exactly how much water to put in here, so I'm gonna have to look it up, and then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hook this up, and then we'll put some water in. I don't, I don't know how much yet, but we'll see. So I'm just sticking this right around in the hole, and then hooking my pump up, putting that up to this little pump right here. It's a little. And you have to make sure your pump is submerged, or it will burn up. Okay, so the mixture I'm going to use in here um, is the same stuff that Daniel used on his um, uh, on his uh, cucumbers. I actually ordered this from his uh, links, and he had in the cucumber uh, video down in the description box. So if you're interested in this same setup that he used, um, Daniel from Arms from the Homestead, I'll put links down below. Um, you guys can go check it out. Um, it's Epsom salt, uh, master blend, and then some uh, calcium nitrate. It actually has... Uh, actually has a recommended uh, uh, formula for five gallons. I put five gallons of water in here. I'm gonna put the, the mix here, mix it up, let it dissolve really good, stick it in there, stir it up, and then uh, we'll turn the system on. So before I add this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pump on, make sure there's no leaks. Um, there probably is gonna be leaks, but we'll fix them. Uh, but I wanna put this in and let it all leak out. So we'll go ahead and turn this pump on. If there's no leaks, we'll add the We'll add all this. Oh, there it goes. It's going in. If you can see that. Definitely filling up. Now it's just got to fill up enough to go up over that and come through here. I'm not feeling nothing in here yet. Okay, we'll give us a minute. Let it fill up and then we'll go from there. I don't know how good you can see me. Okay, now... It's working great. There, I have not seen any leaks on it. I've actually added three more gallons of water in it because it was sucking it pretty, pretty dry um, with the five gallons. So I got eight gallons total. I adjusted my mixture for that. Um, I had to make a few adjustments to the bottom just to get to drain out just because um, the reservoir I got was a little taller than I was wanting. And uh, I need to get, I'll probably end up getting another one or just adjust this. There is one thing I'm gonna do, make uh, adjustment to um, the actual uh, uh, stand itself. Um, I have a light right here. That I'm gonna I'm gonna put over I'm gonna build some uh, PVC to hang it over there for some grow lights. I actually got some other grow lights over here. I'm gonna start planting some seeds in here too. Um, so I'll have my seed bank over here growing, and uh, then I can move some lettuce and strawberry stuff like that over here into the hydroponics. It's it's it looks it's working fine. Um, I've never done this before. It's the first time ever. So you guys are coming along with me to see if we can do this. Um, now I will put a link down below to everything in here. I got this from Amazon, um, and it was super easy to put together. Um, you could go out and buy each piece 
but there was a bunch of little pieces. Really all you need to do, you don't, you can make your own stand. You don't even have to mess with this stand. You could just go out and buy these little pieces and it's actually really, really simple to make one of these. I, I did not realize how easy this could be to, uh, to make. Um, but yeah, right now it's working great. I'm gonna put my, um, my mixture in there and then I'm gonna put some strawberries in there. I'm not gonna fill this thing up. There's a lot of holes. I don't have enough plants right now to fill it up. This is just to get me started to see if we can actually do this in the garage. So I won't leave this light, um, I won't leave this light set up because I don't want it falling over into the reservoir or, anything like, or into the actual thing itself. Um, I just got plugged in right now to show you what I'm gonna do and with the light and all that. So um, I'll show you putting some plants in here, but I'm gonna get off here. Hey guys, go subscribe to Hayden Riley. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell for notifications. Okay, so it came with these little cups that fit perfectly into each little hole. I think it was like, a, I think a hundred, I don't know. There's like 120 holes. I'm definitely not going to plant that many right now. Um, but I got some of the little clay um, pebbles. I got all this stuff off of Amazon. You guys can go down in the description box and I'll put everything in there. You can get started tomorrow as soon as it gets in. Um, but I'll show you. Um, I got the strawberries. I got as much dirt off of them as I can. Got the root balls here. I'll stick them in. I'll stick them each uh, in one of these. Show you guys putting them in here. I'm going to put it down here. That way it gets the water gets in there. I watched a lot of videos on this. And say if you can, without damaging the roots, stick it down through there. Just like that. If you can see that. The lighting's not very good, like I said. It's, it's about 9 o'clock at night right now. I'm trying to get this done. So I'll put a few clay balls in there to hold it in there. We're going to put our first strawberry plant in our new hydroponic system. I'm going to put it down here in the middle. in there first one so I'll do the rest of these and uh, I'll show you off I'll zoom in I'll show you putting it in there Okay, I got it done. You can check it out. Um, I definitely need to put some more stuff in here. That's all I got for right now. Um, that was like five plants, strawberry plants, um, that I got all, most, almost all the dirt off. There's gonna be a little bit in there. I'll probably change this water out weekly. It's from the things I've been reading. They said weekly they do the best, um, maybe two weeks at the most. Uh, definitely don't go over two weeks, but I'm new to this. So if you've been doing this for a while, leave me some suggestions down below to get the best results from this uh, system I got. Um, do, do you think I need to add different uh, different uh, uh, minerals and other things in there? Um, leave me comments down below on that also. Um, but yeah, this from what I could tell, 
pretty cool and it looks like it's gonna work but we'll see well, I might come home tomorrow my plants might be burned up and they might be dead I don't know, hope not um, but I thought this would just be a cool project for me to do and I can get the girls involved I want to get it all set up before I got them out here to help me doing all this but um, if it works we're gonna do um, lettuce and some more strawberries stuff like that you know now that's the reason why I know I did it right here so they can come out here and see this eye level and see how cool this is to be able to grow uh, plants in your garage with no soil how awesome is that? That's going to be so awesome. I'm um, also got some plans to do some uh, to, some tomato plants in the Dutch buckets. If you ever seen those, are pretty cool. Um, I want, uh, the things I've been reading and uh, watching, uh, people get like the they've got huge tomato good results from the Dutch buckets. And um, if you've had any success with it or failures, leave me some comments on that below too. So that's all I got for you guys today. I think this was a pretty cool uh, little uh, system I got. Um, I think you can get everything I got for around $200. Um, I mean that's everything. Um, if, if I can remember correctly, it might be a little more, a little less. I don't really remember exactly, um, but I'll put everything down in the link below. So if you guys do want to do something like this in your own garage or outside on your back porch or wherever you can. So I hope you guys like today's video. Um, just a little fun uh, project I got going on and uh, I've been wanting to do this hydroponics for a long time. I actually been saving a big uh, 300 gallon tote to do the trout. I think people do uh, do trout or uh, tilapia, uh, something like that in those and they grow the plants above and, and the, the fish poop and all that feeds the plants. That's something I really, really want to do. Just never have done it, but I got, I got the setup to do it. So maybe this will inspire me if this is success to do that too, to raise your own fish and all that. I think that'd be so awesome. Um, that'll be in the future. Right now, let's focus on this. We'll get some seeds planted in the next day or two. And uh, we're going to have our garden going pretty quick here in Oklahoma Springs, like a week away. Um, I mean, it's right here. Uh, so I'm excited. The girls are excited. And uh, we're going to do, we're going to do some different cool stuff this year than we normally do. So let's see if we, if we can have some su success with this. I'm excited if you can't tell but thanks for watching guys you made it this far smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe follow us follow us along on this new hydroponic system uh, that we're doing and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and you know, entertaining and educational I hope so thanks for watching catch you guys on the next video